So you got to get out there and chase that bag when it comes to that. And once you figure out how the system works, you really can get paid. And also, man, it's it's just one of the best jobs I enjoy doing out of all of the hustles that I do. I really enjoy it, you know, just bringing that happiness to the customers, man. It's it's rare, and I'm gonna show you some of my comments, and I'm not trying to brag or nothing. I'm just showing you some of my. I'll show you my most recent comments, man. It's it's just cool seeing people light up because you made that day. You know, elderly, handicapped mothers with, with kids and I mean just everybody I mean like people are I mean 99% appreciative in, in the situations I've had and I've been doing Instacart almost a year now trying to communicate with her from the store she wasn't responding to the text so when I was asking her what she wanted me to replace a particular I want to say it was a yogurt or something like that with she never would tell me so I had to make a decision to either refund her the money which a lot of times I just refund people their money I learned that after that incident I mean you don't want to because you lose a couple of cents on that item, however, a couple of cents is not worth you getting a bad review, or it's not worth me getting a bad review, you feel what I'm saying, so how much rather them and just tell them, hey, look, the store didn't have it, we refunded you the money, you know, Instacart will kind of press you to, you know, pick some, or, you know, but if, if the people not responding, you have no idea sometimes what they might want, you know, and this lady, when I got there to drop off this food, she tipped me 20 bucks, she was happy with everything. I mean, cash, when I got there, she tipped me 20 bucks. She was happy with the entire service. She asked me to show her how to type and respond on, on her. Her daughter left her an iPad so she can use to order her groceries on. But she really didn't know how to. She, she made it to order the groceries, but she didn't know how to respond or communicate or anything, any of that during the process. So that's why when I was trying to reach out to her from the store, she wasn't saying anything. She didn't even know what box to type in or none of that. You know, this lady was elderly. I mean, literally about 79, 80 years old. So I showed her. She said, would you mind showing her? I showed her. And she just told me she was just so thankful. She was like, I thank you so much. I, I really appreciate, you know, you doing this for me. And then, you know, I let her know about the replacement with her stuff and she was like that's what she was trying to to communicate into the iPad but she couldn't do it so she was frustrated because she was an older lady and she was frustrated because she was she wanted to tell me that if I couldn't find the exact yogurt that she wanted not to replace it at all but I replaced it which means the lady paid for it so I had to try to do what I had to do to at least you know what I'm saying? I felt bad that the lady paid for it and she didn't really know how to use it, even though it wasn't my fault. So I told her that I would let them know 
And then they can, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe reimburse her for it. Just since I picked up the wrong thing. I knew it was going to go against me, but and she was like, nah, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? It's okay. So whatever type of survey that Instacart has after you deliver, it asked her something about was all of her items to correct items or whatever and she said no so even though she was really nice and even though she tipped me 20 bucks and even though she really didn't mean any harm she said no and Insta instacart gave me i don't know if it was a reliability incident but it was some kind of incident because of that it shows up under your customer feedback when you got wrong items or something like that your customer feed to get your customer feedback to a hundred percent you got to have no wrong items in the last 30 batches of shopping which i'm pretty sure my customer rating i think that's what it is the customer rating i'll correct myself if i'm wrong later but the customer rating mine is a hundred percent i'm pretty sure i hope it is because i'm talking about it like it is but That just means you can't make no mistakes in the last 30 batches. And that's hard. That's hard to do because sometimes, you know, the mistake is not a fault of yours. You just got to do your best with communicating with the customer. It always works better with customers who communicate. A lot of these older people, it's not that they don't want to communicate. It's that um, they don't know how. They don't know how to use all of this stuff we got. So... So in, in the event that you can help one when you get a chance to, you know, if it's going to take you five, five extra minutes to show somebody how to use an iPad, because clearly the, the, the daughter, I mean, she was looking out for, for the mother, but I was like, damn, you just bought her an iPad and told her to order her groceries like that, you know what I mean? But I don't know the circumstances. I don't know if the daughter lived in another city or state. I don't know about none of that, so I can't pass judgment and say that the daughter didn't care. I'm just thinking though, like my mom lives in a different state, and if, if I send her something that she don't know how to use, which is possible, I'm pretty much gonna show her and tell her how to use it, but you know, my mom hasn't quite made it to 80 yet, so I don't know how you know how much help she'll need at that point, but whatever it is, I just hope that people would help their parents out a little more, not just leave you out there. They out there ordering from a service, and they just got a stranger coming and dropping off stuff, and they got to take whatever the person brings or whatever. So I try to do my best job at at um, delivering service with a smile. You know, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Your boy wrote one hundo. Man, this water is nasty. Ooh.